Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Now today, I'm actually going to be reviewing this microphone. This is the Laiheo BM800 Studio Microphone from Gearbest. Now to start this whole review process off with, I am going to do a quick unboxing. Then I'm going to do a component and setup um, part and then I'm going to be doing the actual sound testing. So uh, let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing. So we've got a two pin adapter. In South Africa, obviously, we need these. That is what it looks like. It says internet, karaoke, PC recording, instrument recording, etc. Studio microphone on the outside. And a... Hmm little instruction sheet. To make my life easier, I'm going to pull out this entire packaging set. Fairly loosely packed. That's a pop filter for some. Spit shield for others. Very nice bendable arm. And adjustable so you can adjust it and clip it onto the arm. So I'm going to assume this is the transformer or power supply. Now that's where this little adapter comes in. The phantom power adapter, which we have here. Input with its release and the output and your power will go in on that side aluminium casing and it's button for on off shield sponge shield this is the vibration mount or anti-vibration mount shock mount it's actually metal i was expecting plastic so quite surprised there that obviously will be your expander mount your microphone in there this obviously is your um your size adapter. Let's just take out this standard mount. That already has its own little adapter, which is plastic. No idea how you are going to fit the Laiheo BM800 in there, but if you want to use other microphones, it is there. This is the microphone itself. Hmm. Fairly heavy. Here are the cables. Mm. It's okay cables. Now that's your XLR male to uh, XLR male to XLR female. But they also include this, which is your XLR female to a 3.5 microphone three-part adapter. It needs phantom power of some sort. So you can plug this in here and plug it into a sound card if that sound card is going to be supplying its own phantom power mount to mount that onto your table and your arm will go in there this goes in the back here because that will secure the arm mount in there the last part is the arm quite a nice arm all metal construction this seems pretty good center does have one lock nut there and at the top we also have another lock for your microphone mount this first goes into here and that goes on to there. I'll show that with setup later. This is the part which obviously will go in there. And you will screw that and tighten that all down. And the microphone itself. Le Hey Ho. BM800. Fairly heavy. That's everything unboxed. There you have it. Those are the components that you get inside the box. For those not quite familiar with all these audio components and things, I'm going to do a quick overview of the components and how to set it all up to get it to this stage where you can actually do a recording. This is a typical mount for a standard microphone. The BM800 microphone does not actually fit into this. The standard microphone holder is provided should you have any other standard microphones that you want to mount onto the stand. A tensioning screw is provided at the top of the arm so that you can adjust the tension on the microphone holder. Another tensioning screw is provided at the middle of the arm so that you can adjust the tension on the arm, stopping your microphone from drooping. The microphone arm is then mounted to the table mount base, which has two screws, one to secure the rotation of the arm and one to secure it onto the table. The shock mount will not turn directly onto the arm mount. So you need this size adapter so that you can adjust the size for it to mount. 
This butterfly clip is used on the shock mount to open the size so that you can fit the microphone into it. The microphone should fit snugly and securely. Remember to point the name towards the side that you are going to be recording from. When I mounted my pop filter, I decided to use it directly onto that silver part at the end of the arm, which I found to be the most uh, logical and simple place to mount it. And it gives you enough space to adjust it for the area that you need it to work in. The microphone arm desk mount should be secured tightly to the edge of a desk so that the arm can be mounted inside it without moving. After inserting the arm, Tighten the lock nut into the desired position. For those interested in what the electronics look like, I did disassemble the microphone. The revealed electronics are quite simple, but well made and well soldered. There are no problems in the soldering that I found. When I removed the top shield, I discovered that the internal microphone housed in a plastic casing is actually a fairly directional microphone. The microphone casing actually locks into place and the name is always on the front so you will always know which is the front of the microphone's recording area. A sponge windshield is provided. Though this may not always be required, it is a good idea to just always fit it just to reduce any additional wind pop noise. The phantom power supply has three ports, an input, an output and a power port. The power switch and power indicator LED are located on the other side. The power supply I was supplied with was 110 volt, so I was unable to use it. But normally you would plug on this uh, adapter and then you will be able to plug this into your power. You are provided with two sets of XLR cables, one with a female and male connector and the other with a 3.5mm microphone adapter and a female XLR connector. The microphone has a male XLR connector, so you would always plug in the female XLR connector onto this. The male connector on the other side of the cable would then plug into the input port on your phantom power supply. You then connect the female XLR connector to the output port from the cable with a 3.5mm microphone connector. Since the power supply I received was for 110 volt, I substituted this 12 volt power supply, which had the same type of connector, and it seemed to work just fine. Now that we have all our components set up into a system like this, I am actually recording to this. This is a Zoom H1 recorder, but you could uh, record directly to your laptop or your PC or sound card or whatever you like. I just like using the H1 recorder because it is nice and portable. I can take it wherever I need it and uh, it does pretty decent recording. I must mention that the unboxing part was done using a lavalier microphone and now I am using the BM800, the Laiheo BM800. I I think I will be using this one a lot more often. It is a great microphone, as I'm sure you have now heard, because in the component and setup part of this video, I was using this microphone to do all the recording. Now, I'm sure a lot of you want to know a lot more about the sound characteristics of this. Now, in the component video, I also showed a part where I took the microphone apart and from there, we know that the microphone is slightly directional. I'm going to do a finger snap test on the front and the back of the microphone so you can see the characteristics of this slight dire uh, directionality of this microphone. So I'm going to measure, let's say, about one foot. One foot. Okay. Front back so you can hear the the sounds at the back are slightly muted and you have this little sphere in which this microphone has a nice pickup 
even when you move slightly to the side. Now I'm talking a little from this side, I'm going to move around, I'm at the front again, and then I move around to this side. And you can see that there's very little difference, if at all, between those areas. But as soon as you move around to the back, you are going to get um, a lot more muted sounds. The range in which this one works, it appears that one foot is about the best range for the pop filter to work, etc. You can come a little closer if you like, but you must watch your recording volumes as it may pick up quite a bit. And um, the recording distance backwards reduces exponentially the further you go. Now I'm going to move back about two feet. Okay, that's about two feet. And I'm going to move back about three feet. Okay, three feet. Now you can hear it, the sound is not as clear as it was at one foot. This is at one foot and this is at approximately three feet. I'm just guessing. But normally one would not move that far away because it, it would be unnatural. But this is about the area in which it would work. Moving even further, the sound becomes pretty useless to use. I'm going to purposefully now move about, uh, let's move all the way here. Okay, I don't wanna, right, you can almost not even see me because I'm probably blurry, but I am approximately five to six feet from the microphone. And now I'm moving closer. And you can see that the sound drastically falls off the further you move. I think this is a perfect microphone for uh, vlogging and for startup YouTubers who don't want to spend thousands of dollars on expensive equipment, expensive microphones. This microphone comes quite close to many more expensive microphones, but it is not there yet. But it is acceptable, as you can hear, yeah. It is low noise, low hum, low um, hissing. It is clean and clear. And that is important for vloggers, etc. Now, and podcasters. <laughs> now, everyone wants to hear singing voice. Unfortunately, I am not a singer. My singing voice is terrible. But just for those who really want to know what it's like, I am going to try... The first verse and chorus part of um, Johnny Cash, Ring of Fire. I'm going to try a karaoke version. So there'll be no, there'll be a little bit of music coming up from the laptop, which I have down here. And um, that'll be it. Like it or don't like it. So this is the legend, Johnny Cash, Ring of Fire. My non-singing voice. Love is a burning thing and it makes for a fiery ring bound by a wild desire I fell into a ring of fire I fell into a burning ring of fire I went down, down, down And the flames went higher And it burns, burns, burns The ring of fire The ring of fire And that is as much as you guys are ever going to get out of me I'm never going to sing again because I don't have a singing voice and uh, But it gives you an idea of what this microphone is capable of it is a great vocal mic. And uh, from these few tests that I've shown you, I'm very impressed. I will be using this mic a lot more rather than using the lavalier mic I've been using. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe. Like the video. Hit that notification button. I've got a few more reviews coming up. But uh, give me time. Things get busy in my side. And I'll catch you in the next video.